Okay, we're going to pick up where we left off in our last video, going through some of the tools in our presets panel. I'm going to resort back to an inflate brush preset that I created based off the expand brush. It's a little bit too hard. Here we go. I like it. Let's try. This one is pressure sensitive, so we can try light to harsh. Oops. smoothing chosen. Now let's use crease clay. Yeah, this is one of my favorites. It's also going to indent by default. I want to keep my intensity down just a bit. Okay. So now I can go to voxels, unhide all. And choose tangent smooth, which is another option here from your shift key options or control shift. So like hold the control shift keys. Again, this is kind of a subtle amount of smoothing. That's what I want at this stage. Just going to kind of optimize the geometry and maintain the shape for the most part. Okay, now I can make some slight modifications with the move tool. Choose a different brush alpha. Okay, so let's go ahead and create some wrinkles here. Or some skin folds, I should say. We can make one smaller here. I believe he has some ribs. Of 
hold my control key to indent. So let's use mud too here. I think, I think Clay Soft is one of Artman's brushes here. Let's try that. Yeah. It's kind of for rough forms. It's not really trying to build softly as you go. It's not too bad if this is like how you like to work. Especially if you have a background where you've done a lot of traditional clay sculpting. And this is where the powerful smoothing is not working as well as I want and it's a lot of times it's based on the draw mode you're using so let's go with an absolute brush here typically have a stronger effect okay let's use the pinch tool to kind of pinch the ends of the ribs here a little bit same thing for these wrinkles Like a build up brush, and I know there's a ridge right here. And this is a case where I wanted to go ahead and turn the head back on. And I could decide at this point, do I want to leave these separate like this, or do I want to go ahead and merge them? Now, merging them together after we've done a lot of this type of work, especially if they're a high resolution, it may take some calculation uh, merging them back together with them in surface mode. If it was in voxel mode, it probably would not. But if I go back to voxel mode, I'll probably lose a lot of this detail. So I think I'm going to try and use crease clay. Actually, I have a preset for that. What I want to do is way too big, it created a hole for me. Crank the smoothing up. Follow up to one, then the detail down. Okay. okay. Let's try a different brush alpha. It's creating holes here. Press very lightly. Let's do that. Let's 
It's going to fall off up quite a bit. And one reason was because I had this absolute brush. You got to make sure, go back to something that's a little softer. Use extrude. Hold the control key. That's way too strong. Just very lightly touching it there. Try to round out the muscle here, the long neck muscle here. It's a little too flat. Okay, so uh, we did a little bit of uh, sampling here and we went over quite a bit of content also want to point out that one other tool that you can use while you're sculpting is uh, the image picker and what you can do is select files as reference and once you have a number of selections you can see thumbnails right next to them okay if you hover over that selection you'll see a larger thumbnail and you can always go in and delete individual ones if you like you can retarget it zoom in and out and if you've zoomed uh, you can always pan but if it's at the, the default size um, pan's not going to help you any okay so Okay, so now I want to go ahead and do a little bit of work here in this claw area. We can use the pinch tool here. And just use the draw mode here. Choose a sharp fall off. What I'm doing here is, anytime I'm working on something like this that's 
kind of round uh, like a, a finger or something like that you can always use your 3d connection device to rotate while you're working on it and it's a really exceptional feature kind of a hidden gem having this uh, 3d connection device support okay and could have used crease clay on that as well but we'll leave it at that Oops, a little bit too much smoothing. Let's uh, tangent smooth and hold the control shift key. Here we go. Use the pinch tool again here. Maybe make these edges more blade like. All right, so we could you know continue doing this, but uh, you get the idea. It's uh, given us enough of a sampling to see what tools are available to you in the uh, Vox sculpting room. Let me go ahead and uh, use the move tool again. And so let's say, for example, I thought this was way too small. Maybe I want it larger, or maybe an art director comes along and says, hey, that's too small. Can you expand that? I probably would use the pose tool to go in and paint select this area and just scale it up. That's one way of using it. So I hope this helps. And again, we'll see you in the Retopo video where we walk through some of the Retopo tools as well. So thank you for watching.